Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans, we got to talk about today's episode. Katie pushes Carter to answer a pinching question. Liam is worried about Bill as Katie has moved on and he's wearing his sword necklace. And Deacon stonewalls Finn and Steffi on his involvement with Sheila Carter. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for December 8th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what went down in L.A. today. So we pick up over at Deacon's place where he asked Steffi and Finn if they really think Sheila isn't dead. Now they tell him that the evidence doesn't add up and it's just all too convenient. Now Steffi is certain that Sheila is still alive. Now Deacon shakes his head, mumbles under his breath, and they pull the toe out of her tiger print purse and Deacon needs a drink. Is that her toe? Oh, God, I need a beer. You want one? Okay. Where'd you get that anyway? Detective Sanchez gave it to me. What is this, a souvenir? Sanchez. Now, so am I. Now, Steffi asks if Deacon can help them find Sheila. Now, Deacon take a drink, and he's fidgety. Now, they talk about how gnarly the crime photos were, and Finn says that they weren't gnarly enough to be convincing. Now, if they can prove that she's really not dead, then they can get the cops to reopen the case. They ask him who else would have cut off their toe and faked their death, and his reaction can almost tell off on himself. And of course, Deacon sips and tries to look like he's thinking about it. However, Finn explains that there is no sign that even a wild animal tore that toe off. Now, Nurse Sheila must have done it unless she had help from someone else. And they haven't taken this to the cops yet, but thought she might have reached out to Deacon. Now, Deacon insists that he and Sheila are not an item, and they won't accuse him of anything but ask if he knows anything. And Deacon lies but insists that he doesn't know anything and pretty much shows them the door. And they walk out, and as they're leaving, he closes the door, but yeah, he is pissed, and he punched the wall because he knows that his goose is cooked, and he is up the creek without a paddle. So, let's head over to Forrester Creations, where once again, the CEO office is a changing room. First Thomas, now Carter, just in time for Katie to show up and catch Carter changing. Wow. Hello there. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, don't, don't apologize. This might be the best thing that's happened to me all day. Happy to oblige. <laughs> Although I don't know what that says about your day. It must have been pretty uneventful. Not anymore. <laughs> So she delivering some paperwork and Carter tells her how glad he is that she's there. Now he brings up Brooke eavesdropping on her singing his praises to Bill. Now she agrees with Carter that she deserves better than Bill. Now Carter thinks coming to terms with everything, she deserves a big step. Now sitting down with her, he asked if making her happiness is his business okay. And she was like, oh, that's more than okay with me. And she appreciates Carter standing up for her. Now he 
says standing up for a talented, beautiful woman is too easy for him. And she believes him when he says wonderful things to her. But Bill was the one that never convinced her. And Katie told Carter, you know what? I'm moving on. And it's hard to give your heart to a man who's in love with your sister. And then Katie wonders if there's even a man in L.A. who wants her over Brooke. Then Carter clears his throat and assures Katie that she's the only Logan that he ever had his eyes on. She's smart, she's funny, and she's very beautiful. And then they kiss. You've never been interested in Brooke? No. Positive? No, not once. The only Logan I have my eye on is the one I'm staring at. You're amazing, Katie. And you're, you're vibrant, you're genuine, you're smart, I mean, you're funny. <laughs> And you're beautiful. Very beautiful. So honestly, maybe these two are best for each other because they have yet to make connections with other people in L.A., so probably perfect for each other. However, somebody is not so happy. So Liam drops by Bill's house, and he was like, oh my God, oh dad, not the necklace. Not the necklace. What's going on with you? And Bill looks like he is not in the mood to talk to Liam. However, Bill drinks and asks if Katie even put him up to even asking that question. Now, his son says uh, it's not the jury, but it means something else. You're in scorched earth mode, so what gives? What's going on with you? Because I thought you were done with it forever. Forever's a long time. And I don't have to explain myself to you. Okay. Uh, all right. Fine. So Katie was here. Why? What happened? Now, Liam continues to offer to listen, although he's sure his father doesn't want to talk to him. Now, Bill explained that he poured out his soul to Katie and she didn't want to have anything to do with him. Now, she's moving on with Carter and he's pacing the floor. Bill complains about how everyone is betraying him. He is tired of it. Even Justin stabbed him in the back. Liam goes on to suggest that it's okay to feel sorry for himself however bill said he's just being factual sorry for myself i'm giving you factual information but you keep it up and you're gonna be feeling sorry for yourself fine fine then as your son stop it stop it because all this this is ego it's your ego talking and when your ego's in charge you get into trouble However, Bill's eyes is looking dark right now. However, he tells his dad that Katie is not leaving his son. He needs to face the fact that he and Katie haven't been an item for a long time. Now, Bill insists that he was meant to be with either Brooke or... Or Katie, Liam points out, guess what, Dad? You cannot have both. I was meant to be with one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't have both. You know me pretty well, Liam. And you know that if somebody tells me what I can and cannot have in my business affairs or affairs of the heart. Have I made mistakes? Sure. We all have. But I have loved them. I have cared for them. I have protected them. And this is what I get in return? Nobody betrays my trust. 
and nobody dismisses me. I am Dollar Bill Spencer. Hey, hey, you're fired up. I see it. I get. Now Liam don't want him to do anything drastic. However, Bill looks outraged and scared the crap out of Liam. When he backs off. Bill storms out. Liam realized he was way over his head with this situation with his father. The question is, where is Bill headed off to? I guess we have to stay tuned to find out. Okay, so there you have it, your bold and the beautiful recap for Thursday, December 8th, 2022. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>